Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, <clears throat> excuse me, to our live. I am Heather and we come to you live every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 and it is wake up and make up. So <laughs> obviously, <laughs> Obviously I'm awake, but I need some makeup. And so we are going to go through everything luminous, right? And everything luminous means new makeup, what we have, everything. So dropping some hints here, uh, cause I'm pretty excited about this. Pretty darn excited. So I know you guys had some fun with Renee yesterday. Um, so she jumped on yesterday and um, I know I was, I was actually watching. Um, so my uh, baby girl was sick. So I had to go take her to do all of that. That now happens when your child is sick. <laughs> so we are set. Everything's good. We are ready to go. And I just, I can't wait. I cannot wait. This is going to be so exciting. So hello, Brandy. Hello, Teresa and Karen. Karen is new. Well, welcome, welcome on Facebook, Karen. We are so excited that you're here. So just to give you a little rundown, hey, Brandy, of um, what we do here is every day, Monday through Friday, we do have our wake up and make up at 9 30 central time and we go over the basics of luminous i feel like this is super close but we go over the basics of luminous and the airbrush kit and you'll see me put it on in different orders um because there's so much you can do with luminous and when we have new products being released uh, we go over those as well. So it's a great opportunity for you to ask questions and, um, you know, I mean, I can't even think of a question. Like there's so many questions. <laughs> you can ask anything, you can ask anything and we are um, going to cover it for you. So if it's a product that you want to see put on, guess what? We're going to do that. If it's a question about ordering, you know, order of how you put it on, we're going to do that. Um, the big thing when you first start airbrushing is I want you just to get the movement of airbrushing down. So we always cover that. Uh, we always cover the, I don't even like to call it the basics because it's just the getting started point. So we are going to cover all of that. Um, so oh, Candy's at the dentist even watching. Hello, Linda. Good to see you. Good to see you, Tammy. Jacqueline, good to see you. Hello, Allison. All right, um, I'm doing well, Christina. Thank you on YouTube. Um, I'm doing very well, I'm doing better. My daughter does not have COVID, so I'm doing very well. Um, it's just kind of where your mind goes to when she was running a little bit of a fever and she was just run down. But where does your mind go? Whoop. So I waited three hours to get her tested. That was good times. Good times to be had by all. One, three, it was two. But all right, so I want to make sure, Tammy, hello. I want to make sure that I see everybody and that I acknowledge you. Um, I do see Facebook and YouTube, so if you see me answering somebody and you're like, is Heather talking to herself? I'm not. I'm probably answering the other channel. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go over the basics, um, the beginnings of airbrushing even though we're going to do something different today and you're going to be able to see something new. Hello, Patty. So good to see you. All right. So I'm going to move this guy over here. So I'm not looking far away. Now in our starter kit, you get, I like to call it the practice kit because this is what one of them looks like. This is the icon. We also have the icon pro and the legend. Um, they're all operated about the same. The and um, and so, you know, what I'm saying for one, you can do for all of them. And so, it does come with makeup. It comes with your um, foundation. It comes with your. It, well, we'll give you two bottles of foundation, and then it comes with love and blush. And you're gonna love love and the blush. Super high pigmented. It does intensify it does bloom it does come out 
Um, and so I'm going to walk you through how to use those as well. So when you first get your system, I want you to get it out and do the following thing. So it comes put together. You have to unbox, unbox it. This stylus is sitting in a beautiful tray that you take out. So it's all put together. So the hose where the makeup comes out, I'm sorry, the hose where the air comes out, I'm untangling my hose. Um, it's already attached to your stylus. It's already attached to your system. So when you turn it on, and this is very important because this, I get these questions a lot. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Connie says, I love your videos. Thank you. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I try to make them fun and informational, um, informative. I do. Uh, but when you turn it on, there's air that comes out. So wherever you feel this air is where the makeup is going. And so I kind of just move this around, keeping it four finger whisk away and keep that stylus moving. For the most part, that's pretty obvious because of the fact like you're not going to put makeup on like this. Right. So you have to move that around and keep that going. And just feel that number one it feels good bathrooms are always so hot don't know why i think they would fix that and you can kind of just uh, feel that air that's practicing then when you're ready you can put water in here and then lightly start pulling back on that trigger and then that's how you can really kind of feel how the makeup feels when you put it on um if your face is just kind of moist which i hate that word um and not dripping with water then hey you got it you got it down and then the next thing i would do is take a tissue paper towel piece of paper put a foundation in there that you're not using and then spray that because you'll get to see what it looks like when you're airbrushing and you'll hear me say this time and time again you should question whether or not it's even going on that's how light you're spraying and so when you're doing this um, you are going to question it, but seeing it, seeing it on a piece of paper or something like that, you actually get to see the contrast from the paper and the makeup. And so it's sometimes a good way to do it. Hello, Tracy. Muzad, how are you, my friend? Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys, I am so excited because today we are going to talk about and I know that Renee gave you a little tease of what we're going to talk about. And I'm so excited about this. Um, <laughs> Musette's like, don't waste it on liquid, the liquid gold. Do it with water. Um, that's why I said, Musette, do it a shade that you don't, that's not your shade. Do it on an off shade. Um, but we are going to talk about liquid mirage. I love this. This is our first liquid foundation this is not an airbrush foundation if you are ready for that this is a liquid foundation and the reason for this guys is we know that there's a lot of people who are just not going to airbrush not going to airbrush is the ultimate way of putting on your makeup and so yeah of course but we know that there's people that are not going to do it so who would you want to make a foundation, a regular found, traditional foundation, an airbrush company, because that's what we're comparing it to. We're comparing it to airbrush. And I'll tell you what, guys, this is amazing. So they have styled it just similar, well, just like or similar uh, to airbrush because you can, there's, there's lights and darks where you can mix to your shade. Just like I tell you guys that you can mix your shade by putting boop, 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 drops in here, mixing that together. Same thing with this traditional makeup that we have, Liquid Mirage. So look at that bottle. Is that not sexy? Woo! I love this. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Is that not hot? And then you have these lighters or darkers that you can drop in there as well. Um, and so it's pretty amazing. All right. Um, it is medium to full coverage, um, medium to full coverage. So I'm actually going to do liquid mirage foundation, and then I am going to do some airbrush as well. So 
we always say you it's not all or nothing and the same thing goes with our liquid mirage but guys i cannot stress this enough a little bit goes a long way um let me get did i leave it out already um there is they come it has a brush which here it is which i love and i think she showed you that yesterday it's the oh no hold on hold on hold on hold on i'm out of focus because i moved let me focus me focus me bam bam all right there we go um Okay, so it has this little guy here that we're going to put it on. You can tell I've been using it. And go from there. So, um, oh, yeah. Okay, so are y'all just being quiet because y'all are so excited? <laughs> so, obviously, my eyebrows are done. I'm going to take my shade. And this is a new bottle. I don't, my face is just shiny right now. I'm like, I noticed that too. So this is a new bottle. And um, so I, you do like everything we have, you do want to shake it. Now, I will tell you, if you, you know with airbrush makeup, how you're putting on 10 times less makeup? Again, don't <laughs> put this on like you would a luminous product light you can add but it's easier to add than it is to take away the first time i did this i put it out i put a couple drops on my hand and was like boo, 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 and put these drops everywhere hun it was like i had to wipe some of it off it was crazy it moves so i'm going to put a couple of drops right there and if you can believe that that's probably going to be too much now a couple ways you can do this i don't like the feeling of makeup on my hands so i am going to use the brush and i can stick the brush right in there and do it that way now watch this Do you see my skin moving back and forth like I'm having to tug? Or do you see me lightly moving the brush around to blend this? Heather, I have the liquid foundation. Um, Look at this, guys. Look at this. Can y'all see how effortlessly I did this? Okay, light. Blend it down, moving this back and forth. I mean, I'm kind of just stippling it a little bit. Jackie's like, wow. Guys, I'm so in love with this. Look at this. Am I having to beat my face up doing this? Do y'all see? I mean, I'm 50-ish. And look at this. I'm not, I mean, my skin, if I was pulling on it hard, you would be able to see it, right? Blend it down my neck. Uh, Tracy on Facebook, Heather, I have a liquid foundation. It's called Clean by CoverGirl. And it's for sensitive skin and it's a beige color. Tracy, did I miss a question? The small bottle. Or were you just telling me? Which I'm cool if you're telling me. I just don't want to miss a question. I mean, guys, look. <gasps> look at this. <laughs> and it is buildable. I know Tracy's like, Tammy said it's so smooth. I can go back and do let me put some on my lids too because we know <gasps> guys covered my lid not lid not 
Look at this. This is not amazing. Oh, I am obsessed. I mean, and come on, guys. You know me. You know me. How obsessed am I with airbrush, right? <laughs> Only been doing it 20 plus years. Say so maybe a little. This is so amazing. I'm not, I mean, it is just floating on. Look at that. And I mean, it is, it is smooth as butter. Here's another, here's the other thing. Feels like airbrush. Guys, it does not feel heavy. It does not feel like I have traditional. And I just dropped my airbrush. It does not feel like I have traditional makeup on. I do not feel like I have a mask on. It feels amazing. And it looks flawless. Like, I just can't stop doing this. It is amazing, guys. Um, Katie on Facebook says, my device is locked. I cannot use it. So are you talking, Katie, are you talking, or Kelly, I'm sorry. Are you talking about the compressor or the actual air, the actual stylus? All right. I am now going to powder. So this is, uh, what number is this? Oh no, I might have a sample and I don't have the number. This is the brush that's with um, the liquid Mirage. Oh my gosh, I love this. And let me show you these. These are the lighter and darker ones. Again, look at my little blister I have. Oh, it hurts. Um, so th they have these little lighter or darker that you can mix together um, and, and make that perfect shade. Um, it's just amazing. It feels so amazing on your skin. Um, Kelly, if your compressor is not working, well, it doesn't matter. If anything's not working, I'm going to powder, lightly powder with our translucent powder to get my shine off. Again, even with the, look at that guys. I don't know if y'all can tell, but oh, I'm floored. Lord, I tell you, um, Kelly, call customer service and, um, and let them know. I mean, we stand behind our product, so honey, we're going to fix it. So just call customer service, say my compressor is, you know, like plugged in. The one thing I would say is make sure that you are plugged in like really well, uh, with a power cord. Sometimes like I just dropped mine, um, and sometimes it will come out just a little, the power cord. So just make sure that that's on. Uh, Tammy's like, I need this. Um, but Christina on the brush, this brush right here, it is made for this foundation. And you are just going to, you can kind of simple or kind of rub it, you know, like when I say I'm lightly, lightly doing, doing this. Um, Kelly says it's clocked. So one, your compressor can be clocked. Only if you're not washing it, your stylus can be clocked. I'm now going to use the bronza in Belize. So Kelly, if your stylus, which is this guy, if that's clogged and it's not, um, um, you know, letting you spray, then what I would recommend is one, checking out our YouTube videos so you can clean it properly. I would soak it in warm, not boiling water, but hot water, like just the hot water from the tap um, and soak it. You can take a coffee mug, fill it up halfway, and then drop this in here to make sure it covers at least to the bowl. Um, and then, um, and then go from there. Um, you, I would also check out the videos to unclog it. You can call customer service and they're going to walk you through that as well. 
but I find doing the videos really helps. Oh, goodness. Yeah, the chances are it's just the needle. Um, that's clogged what Musette was saying. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. Guys, you're, oh, my face feels amazing. I'm obsessed, obsessed. All right, so now let's go in. I'm like, what do I want to do? Let's do, do we want to do optics eyes? Let's do optics because we're fancy today because we got our new foundation. So I'm going to be fancy. So yeah, I definitely would clean the needle for sure. Um, but definitely go to YouTube, look for the videos that are um, um, for cleaning your stylus. And I promise then, but again, call customer service. Let me get my brushes over here. Call customer service and they're going to walk you through everything too, for sure. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna take, I'm like, what color should I do? Let's take, maybe this one, I don't know. We're gonna kind of have some fun with it. I'm gonna take, let's do this one. I'm actually going into the nude palette and using sand. I'm going to start in my crease. Now, because I have my foundation on and because my new foundation and I started my bronzer, I'm going to do what we call a powder guard. Now, what this will do is protect the, um, the foundation that I have on. So I'm just taking a clean brush and laying some powder right there. Now, this is not necessarily baking when, if you've ever heard of baking, baking is where like you're gonna press it in and then you leave it on. I lightly put the, the powder there to just, if anything did fall, when I sweep that powder away, it's going to remove any fallout. And fallout is eyeshadow that falls down and has potential to mess up what you've already done. And so obviously we don't want that to happen. So I'm just blending. And I'm into these like terracotta for fall this year. I'm, I'm into the terracotta, the um, kind of the red, bur like um, like cave in our click and plays to this outside corner just to make that pop. Now, because I did put that foundation, the new foundation, on my lid, it tinted my lid, it colored or it covered the um, the darkness that I have usually on my lid. Ooh. So I'm able to use that to my advantage. A little bit of darkness right here. I don't know what that is. But, oh, look, I just fixed it. Okay. Um, right there. Okay. Now I can put eyeliner, mascara, and I'm done. But you know, I always like to show you how to step it up. Christina said, you said you've been doing uh, airbrush for 20 years. Is that so Christina, for the most part? Yeah. Um, I actually am a makeup artist <laughs> and I have a company or have a company that we, we do airbrush makeup and hair. And um, I started with working with Luminous over 20 years ago, um, right when they were coming out with their system. I was the very first makeup artist there. So yes, so on and off again. Now I've been in the office for a little over eight years. All right, now I'm using with the optics palette and Musette too, Musette's been with me the whole time. This is Flash, which if I showed you the cut, this is Flash, that yellow color in there. When I first saw that color, I was like, eh, that's the color I'll never use. 
And then what happens? It's my favorite. Look at this color. Is that not beautiful? Can y'all see that? Oh, yay. Connie said, Luminous was on YouTube. On YouTube Connie said, um, Luminous was kind enough to send me a new stylus and compressor. I love, guys, when I tell when I, when I see people on Facebook or what on social media and they're like, oh, the customer service, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, did you call the right player version? Because <laughs> I have a feeling you weren't talking to us. Our customer service is just flat out amazing. It is. I mean, we really do stand behind our product. We, I mean, it's just amazing. It is amazing. We want to make sure that you love it, that you have everything that you need to create the looks that you want to create. That I love this. I'm loving it. Love it. Now I'm going to use this outside color as my eyeliner and smudge here you know I love using the eyeliner using eyeshadow as eyeliner because you don't have that constant pull again we want to avoid that the new foundation because you're not pulling on your face it, it glides on it is amazing um and because i feel fancy today we're gonna do lashes so i'm using our new <laughs> lash lure i'm gonna feel all kinds of special today i'm not lying um so i'm gonna use my mirror down here real quick Musette, you do have every palette, I bet. All right, taking the two-in-one Smart Adhesive, which has glue and the magnet properties, magnetic properties. And applying it like eyeliner. I mean, that's eyeliner, right? And I just make sure I get it on very well from end to end. And because my lashes do that curly thing, I have to pull that off my lash. And now I'll do the other side. One of my friends actually did the persuasion eyeliner because she can work in brown. She works with the persuasion eyeliner very well. So she actually lined her eyes first and then went over it with the two in one smart adhesive because then she could just trace that line. So that's always a good idea that you can do if you know, you're like, Oh, I don't know that the black freaks me out. Do that. All right, now taking my lash, and I don't have a little, please don't blur. Oh, let me unblur. Unblur, there we go. And then, I don't know where my little holder went, so I'm gonna take this one, and I believe these are, yeah, these are the natural ones. Taking this, and guys, it just goes in place. Like, I can't even, express how easy this is it just boop. pops in connie said the eyeliner takes a little connie are you talking about the smart adhesive or just eyeliner in general i mean guys if you had trouble putting on nor like regular lashes, I'm telling you, this is 
Amazing. Line both eyes, then put on the lash. And because it's the two-in-one smart adhesive, it, whoop, it attracts right there. So it's going to go straight to that line. Plus the fact with the two-in-one smart adhesive, you have that line to go to. Like that's what you're shooting for, that's where you're going, and boop, and it just sticks. I'm gonna sweep that away. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit more contouring. I'm gonna be fancy today. So I'm using the Cut One palette right now and our L. Guys, I have the, it's the angled brush. I don't, the ones at home are the ones that they had me try, so I don't, they're not numbered. You fixed it, Kelly, already? Well, that's exciting. I'm gonna be so fancy today. And so I got my hair curled and stuff too. So did a little bit of the contouring. Hold on, I'm gonna put my hand up. So you can see my bruise that I chomped between two lights. And then I'm taking the optics palette and doing a little bit of highlighting here. Oh, I was gonna show you how, that's what I'll do. Hold on one second, I'll show you. Cause I was gonna tell you that it's, it's not all or nothing with, with Luminous. Like you can do a lot with Luminous. Um, I'm being that my nose is super shiny. So it doesn't, you know, just because now that we're gonna be using the, um, the liquid Mirage, I can still airbrush on that. So don't think that, you know, you're like, oh, I have to do everything to do. No, no, not at all. So I'm gonna do, this is Plum. I'm gonna do my two drops of Plum. And then, aim, so I contoured, I did a little bit of the highlight. So the contour, I went highlight up here, down the nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow. And then on top of that, I'm going to put in, or put on blush, which will be lightly here to, and I smirk, remember to smirk. Don't smile, because everybody tells you smile and I'll put on blush. But what happens, my apple to the cheeks right here. So what happens when you're not smiling? It's on there. So you don't want to do that. So smirk. Meet it halfway. I kind of do a little bit of blush everywhere. <gasps> oh! I am so in love. So now I have my fancy eyes. My with the eyeshadow, with the lashes, my skin, it feels like a airbrush. I mean, it's it's medium to full coverage. It gives you um, it's buildable. It's going to make your skin look so smooth and so flawless. And so now I can take. Let's go ahead and take this. I used all my Dusty Rose at home, so I need to go get another Dusty Rose. But this is Ballet Pink. I'm going to do the right of the line. I know... Uh, Renee did a beauty that um, what Flamingo yesterday. Because I know we're into fall and I know all that, but I still feel we're going to be able to. I mean, I know we can still do bright colors for fall along with the, those deeper colors, too. So there we have our. That's ballet pink in our liquid 
um, or the Vinyl Slick liquid lipsticks that are amazing. And then I wanted to show you one little trick. Almost dropped it, so we weren't going to be able to see it. But this is just eye coal, and I feel like it is a simple step that can take you from a beautiful look and kind of step it up to more dramatic. Um, and because again, we're into fall, we can kind of take it up a little bit. Always used a pencil. Perfect. So Connie, if you need to do the pencil eyeliner and then do the liquid, the two in one smart adhesive on top of that, that's fine. I bet you could do it. All right. So this is just an, liquid coal and look what a difference that makes I mean this is good this is I'm good with this I feel pretty but boom see how it just kind of takes it up a little bit. Um, Doris, on, oh, thank you, Muzette, Muzette, and Linda. Linda said, beautiful, Muzette, gorge. I know. I'm like, I feel pretty today. <laughs> I love it. You know, do y'all get all excited when y'all get, I know y'all do, because I've heard y'all stalk your male people, but I get excited when I have some new makeup. Hold on, let me do this one real quick. And that's just some coal to make that make your eyes look a little smokier or a little more dramatic, whatever you're feeling. Because again, we're giving you another tool, another option to feel beautiful. I'm not telling you you have to pile on makeup every day. With Luminous, you're not piling it on. It's so easy, so light, whether it's liquid mirage or airbrush whatever it's just making you feel beautiful for that day so uh doris on facebook mine will not dispense makeup air conditioning through but makeup or water will not i've called and left messages but no one has responded um doris make sure you're calling in between our, where customer service is like when they're open but again their customer service will I promise you they do. You can even, since you are on Facebook, you can go to Facebook and message them and they can call you back. But I promise they're now Mondays, like with any customer service, they're always busy. So I would call again and talk to them. Um, if it's not letting makeup out, chances are, there needs to be tension in the needle. So take your the tail off. Make sure this guy is screwed on, not superhuman tight, but just where it stops. And make sure your needle's all the way in. Make sure it's clean. So make go through and clean your stylus. Make sure everything is screwed on. But reach out to customer service. I promise they will help you. Um Hold on, everybody was responding. So Doris, please call them, okay? Um, hold on, I'm gonna put the number here. 888-79. Muzette, is that the right number? 793-7474? Muzette always, or is it 795? I think it's 793. 888-793-7474. Call that number and they're going to help you. Um, let's see, let me make sure I'm getting um, this was, it's Indian coal. It's actual Indian coal that I use to line, but any soft pencil eyeliner will do. You can line the inside. It's called Codule. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy said my makeup looks nice. Um, let's see. Let me see. And Doris, I'll, I'm going to, honey, don't put your phone number out here, but, um, I'm going to write it down and then I'm going to delete that. And, um, and so I'll see if I but seriously, just call them, call them, call them. Um, let's see. 
Candy's gonna order this weekend. Uh, let's see. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, Candy, thank you. Um, oh, Jacqueline, have you ordered the eyeshadow? Are you waiting on that? All right, guys, there you go. There you go. I am so excited. And I'm, if I remember, hopefully I remember, um, I'm going to take a picture at the end of the day to show you the stain power, guys. This is so amazing. It feels, oh, uh, I love it. I love it. Y'all need to try it out. It's beautiful. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I will see you back here tomorrow at 930 for our wake up and makeup. All right. Have a great one. Bye for now.